Today, we talk about... Okay. Whew. Why is this so tiring? I don't know. Anyway, so uh, let's have a little discussion, shall we? So, uh, as you probably may have guessed, if you're in the know, uh, these, this is the bundle that came with the original announcement slash release of the uh, Yeezy 500, originally called the Desert Rats, but I guess they're uh, leaning against that name now. So let's pull out the shoes, because I have a bone to pick. Now, first of all, as far as props go, I have to say, this is my first retail Yeezy, so I'm glad to finally cup a pair for retail in the super yellow moon colorway, or super moon. Either way, you can see the uh, premium leather suede construction. A lot of paneling, a lot of stuff going on. Um, you know, cool laces, very monotone. Goes with the very known Yeezy vibe now. Uh, you get that cool looking out troll. And uh, a lot of people will say that this kind of odes back to the original Crazy 8s that Kobe used to wear. Being my favorite athlete, can't complain. Uh, Adiprene plus cushioning as opposed to boost. Which is fine with me. I don't think boost is like the end all be all of comfort, but it is what it is. Ortholite insoles, which is cool. Now, in order to purchase these at retail, you had to buy the bundle, which came with this hoodie and these shorts. Now, who wears shorts with hoodies? Not me, but this was the only way I could get the pack. Uh, but I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed for a couple reasons. First of all, these aren't even going for as much as I thought they would. Uh, so I uh, kind of overspent because I really didn't need another hoodie or another pair of shorts. Second of all, these shorts don't fit me. Uh, they're very loose and uh, what makes them worse? Look, there's no drawstring, nothing. It's elastic, but if it doesn't fit you from the jump, you're kind of screwed. And I went with a size large because I was worried that they'd be kind of short, but they're kind of short anyway and uh, they're very, very loose. So uh, it's large in the waist, not in the length. So that's kind of crappy. Um, I get the vibe that because Kim Kardashian was the one modeling these, uh, that they're meant more for women's wear, but regardless, I mean, yeah, I don't know. At least they're made in USA, I guess. They do feel like a very premium product, but this is gonna be more of a lounge wear. It does come with zippers on the shorts, which are cool. But again, didn't need the shorts, and they don't even fit all that well, so I can't even wear them out. It's just more of a lounge or beach wear, I guess. And then the hoodie, the hoodie does actually fit, so that's kind of nice. Um, I'll put it on so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, so, you know, it fits pretty good. A little bit short here, which is fine, because then it allows you to, you know, show if you're off white belt, am I right? Uh, but no, I mean, you know, it's a decent length. Uh, decent length as far as, uh, you know, where it drops on you, kind of like right there. A little bit loose fitting, which, you know, is always a good idea for hoodies, especially if you're wearing something underneath. And a little baggy in the, in the sleeves, but, you know, I don't mind that. And then the hood, Bop. <sighs> okay, so uh, it's getting hot, so I'm gonna take this off. This is all part of uh, uh, Kanye's season six line, which is cool. Uh, the bundling is an interesting experiment. Uh, I guess, you know, he's, he's experimenting with, you know, the best ways to move his product because it's not selling as well as his sneakers do, which I think is understandable. I think his heritage in fashion will always be rooted in footwear as opposed to apparel, but can't blame the guy for trying to expand, so uh, that's what it is. I got a large in the shorts, which at this point I regret and I wish I got a medium, and I got a medium in the hoodie because I heard that they run actually pretty big, uh, of course with it being the whole overdraping type aesthetic he's going for. Uh, so this is actually a medium and it fits pretty good, but uh, this large I wish I'd also gotten a medium, but it is what it is. And just for reference, I am six foot, uh, 194 pounds ish, if that helps you guys out. And being the Kanye stan I am, as far as his fashion goes, I had to cop a pair of 500s, and I'm pretty happy with these. I mean, the yellow I could do without because it's very uh, dirty appearing, but I think the nice thing about these is once they do get dirty, I think it'll kind of add to that desert rat aesthetic because if you can just picture this all being muddied and speckled with with a crud and stuff, if you don't clean it, it'll really give off a real rat vibe, you know, just from the shape. And um, and with the color being yellow as opposed to white, it's really, I think, gonna help make the shoe look better with wear. So looking forward to that. Um, but again, could have done without the extras, which I have to pay extra for, but I'll make it work because uh, it is what it is. 
Uh, the box, of course, 500 logo on it. Nice to see the 350, 500, and 700 logos, which is all dope. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you can't blame Kanye for trying different things with the bundles and whatnot, but I hope that's not a permanent fixture because I'm really not feeling these quotes. Um, unless he puts out something more dope, but as of now, I haven't been impressed. Oh, also, the other thing I'll add with these shoes, right? Um, I wish we got more of an insight into what the design influences are that Kanye's using when he's making these. I wish he was a little bit more verbal about it. Obviously, he's a lot more verbal about other things, am I right? But uh, <laughs> uh, it'd be nice. I, I personally, being a nerd about shoes, I would love to hear his thoughts on how he arrived at this design, how he arrived at these colorways. Do they have a deeper significance? What went behind them? I, I always look forward to those kinds of things. So, you know, hopefully someday, if uh, I'm in the position to interview him about that, I would love to have the opportunity to ask him about each of his mop. I would love to have the opportunity to ask him about each of his models because I've collected one of each. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, this to me is not gonna go down, I think, as a uh, classic Yeezy silhouette. Uh, this will probably be his version of the Jordan 2. You know, respected by collectors, respected by those who are truly fans of it, uh, but otherwise won't kind of have the cultural impact that a lot of the other models have had, like the 350, uh, V1 and V2. The 700 actually is starting to gain a lot of like, uh, uh, classic appeal, I think, uh, because it's sort of not kicked off, but definitely is like the uh, showrunner of the dad shoe, bulky shoe era. Yeah, the 750s to me are my favorite of the Adidas lines. They're just I just love high tops and I just love the aggressive look of it. And I've always been a fan of Ugg boots, but never could justify getting it as a man. But his version of it from a 750 perspective really sealed the deal for me. So, um, and then of course his Nike models um, and then and, and the Babesta as well. Uh, but yeah, I think these probably will fall to the wayside as far as the rankings of his silhouettes go, but definitely a necessity for any serious collector of Yeezys and uh, yeah, appreciative nonetheless. Hey, what up? Give you the on feet. Definitely tell how clunky these nails are. Yeah, yeah, these are definitely going to look nice, and dirty, for sure. Um, again, not the best pants for them, but they work for work. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, yeah. Um, very chunky, to say the least. Damn it. Uh, anyway, what else can I say? Oh, uh, this is very clearly not going to be his best silhouette, in my opinion. Uh, this will not be as memorable as the 700, the 350s, the 750s. I think we'll just look back on this silhouette in the lineage of Yeezys and realize that this was just indicative of the times, which is a dad shoe era. Um, but yeah, for a dad shoe, it uh, accomplishes its job as far as like chunky chunk. Um, Oh, by the way, definitely go true to size. I want to half size up just in case because you never know with these things. And uh, yeah, it's a little roomy, not too bad, but, um, but yeah, I definitely could have went true to size for sure. Um, not a lot of bounce to it, but you can definitely feel like it's, you know, it's comfy. Uh, definitely not as comfy as Boost, but you know, not by much, nothing major. What else can I say about these guys? The suede is ridiculous. And yeah, I'm really feeling this uh, super moon colorway because, you know, it's the easiest one to get dirty in my opinion and will look better dirty, but that's just me. Yeah, they definitely look like I have rat's paws just because of the bunks coming out the side, kind of like a, a rat's paw, I suppose. Not exactly, but that's the vibe I get, but you know, it is what it is. That's that, dudes. Uh, so it's been a full day now that I'm wearing these and uh, I take back what I said. I think half size up for my uh, wide, fo uh, wide foot brethren would be just fine because I'm uh, starting to settle in. My feet are swung a little bit and uh, filling the gaps. So uh, I think we're good. Comfy. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So thanks for joining. We'll see you on the next one. We out.